<sighs> Sword Art Online. It's been a while since the beta. Wonder if they changed anything. Aw, oh, come on, really? That's just disgusting. Activate ad blocker. <laughs> uh, I am going to burn this f to the ground. Oh. <laughs> How are you doing, everyone? Do you enjoy another day of Overwatch 2 disappointing us, like where it's alcoholic stepfather? I certainly do. Just a myriad of fucking bullshit we've got to get through today and i really didn't want to make this video i thought oh overwatch 2 would fix itself eventually i have no need to make a video like this but i don't regret not making this video sooner because now i can milk all the content all at once granted i get less ad revenue but i don't get paid right now anyway so i don't give a shit on to the topic of overwatch 2 otherwise known as lying the video game like, for example, this. The cap is on. I haven't drank a single fucking drop of that. This. Not even the microphone I'm using. It's down here where you can't see it. I've gaslit you harder than Overwatch 2. Did. No, I'm sorry. That's physically fucking impossible at this point. I mean, come on. Come on. Really? It's just... It's mind-numbing and infuriating what happened, okay? Absolutely fucking infuriating fucking went from really cool ass sequel that everyone is excited to to kind of a cash grab but it'll get better later to i don't even know what are we left with we are left with the sorry my eyes we are left with the scraps of overwatch 2 we are left with the fucking uh kibbles and bits of blizzard eating and eating away at it we are left with the broken husk of a free-to-play title that oh my god there's so much shit there's so much shit to go over all the blunders that have been happening it's fucking ridiculous let's let's start with like the shop the shop okay the shop like first off let's talk about this fucking like the prices the price do you see the fucking prices all i need to do is pull up that fucking skin from junker queen where it's junker queen but brown and it costs 20 bucks and it, you you will understand whether you play overwatch 2 or not it's ridiculous and and then, like, the shop system that they developed is worse than fucking loot boxes. Now, the system, not necessarily, but the execution, I guess, would be more accurate. The system by which they did it was you get in-game rewards by playing the game. I like that system. Games that have that system, I like a lot. Here's the problem. When it takes you four plus years to unlock all the shit for one character through this system, maybe you should buff the amount that you get. Um, <laughs> Why... Is it that by the time I moved out, I will be have been able to buy one whole character of cosmetics? Not even anymore. That was back when um, Kiriko first released. It would take like five years to get all our cosmetics. Now it would take even longer. It, cosmetics are being released faster than you can earn coins to buy one good cosmetic. Even if you don't buy any of, like, the rare or epic stuff and only focus on, like, the epics and legendaries, you're still paying so much fucking money for shit that in other games would be, like, half as fucking much. Because they actually care about quality control. I mean, the fucking League of Legends, which isn't exactly a great game in its own right, has better quality control. Fucking Paladins, a game that was literally designed to rip off Overwatch, is actually eating better and has a better fucking in-game reward system. Dead games from years ago have a better reward system than this. Fucking dead ones have better than the one that has millions of people who want to play it. Well, they don't want to play it anymore, but they, they did have a fan base, yeah. Uh, cannot forget how in-game shop items cost more than real-life fucking items. Uh, similar thing to what Fallout 76 did. Yeah, n never good when you're compared to doing something similar to Fallout 76 in your game. I mean... <laughs> If that ever happens with your game, I want to let you know you have fucked up royally if you ever get compared to Fallout 76 in a way that isn't. You're better than Fallout 76. You're better than Fallout 76. That's the fucking bare minimum. That's what every game should shoot for. It is not a fucking prize. An award. It's something that should be celebrated. Okay? Just So you can go to the shop and there's this little charm item. I'll uh, put it up on screen. 
that costs like more money in game than it does IRL. More money in game than IRL. Do you understand how bad that is? Do you understand? I can go out in real life and buy this fucking charm and put it on my backpack for less than if I pulled out my credit card and spent money in the digital game where I can barely even see the fucking thing. Yeah, that, that that's fair. That makes sense. I mean, I don't even get I don't even get some of these decisions anymore. I mean, like, ooh, Halloween skin bottle. Can't forget that. Can, I almost forgot. How can I fucking forget that fucking travesty of a skin? Not only was it like an overpriced skin, but wait, oh, it's on discount. Except no, it was a fake discount. It was released at a discounted price. Immediately released. But as a but they created. But they created a fake limited time discount. <gasps> wow, it's so much cheaper. Also, that's fucking illegal. In multiple states in which Overwatch 2 is fucking sold in. Which, by the way, another thing uh, Fallout 76 did that Overwatch proceeded to do. Ooh, can't forget about how what a broken fucking mess it is. You know they released this shit early because people were leaving Overwatch 1 and they just needed to put something out to get money because they did not fucking playtest this game. There was, if they playtested it, they had motherfuckers lying for them. The characters removed literally from the game because they were broken. I mean, the Bastion pressed two keys accidentally. He's infinite. He has infinite ult. Yeah, that's fucking fair. Let me just Doomfist ult a thousand times on your asses. I mean, it, it, it makes no goddamn sense. Um, uh, another thing, they had to remove May because she was too broken. And I mean, like, first of all, uh, these bug fixes that they did, that took them, what, fucking weeks? Where you couldn't play your character, you couldn't even check out their cosmetics. I mean, like, they would have been solved in, like, real fast in Overwatch 1. I'm gonna be honest with you, this would have been taken care of real quickly, but no, can't do that now even though the team size is bigger, which they keep saying the team size is bigger, yet they can't handle these things as well as they could Overwatch 1. That don't make no fucking sense. Is the team size bigger or smaller? Make up your mind, Blizzard. Um, ooh, uh, can't forget they removed May and then put a fucking cosmetic up for sale for her while she was out of the game. It wasn't even a good cosmetic. It was fucking okay at best but they sold that shit while she was out of the game if you you could not do something that says like i want money more than that shit well they did but we'll get into that fucking later all right the battle pass this has um quite a few things that we need to talk about quite a few things um first of all the battle pass is complete and utter garbage the battle pass itself is the most cash grab version of a battle pass i've ever seen if you may be wondering why let me explain something to you a battle pass is good because by simply playing the game you earn all the money you spent on that battle pass right back and then a little bit some so you can s use that money you got as you if you played the game enough to then immediately go buy the next battle pass of the next season and have a little extra to buy something if you want or save it up. It was great. It was a great fucking system. It allowed you to... It rewarded people for playing the game a bunch and basically made it so you could do it over and over again as long as you were able to consistently play. And even if you didn't, free-to-play players still got a bit of currency that they earned over time and a ton of cool... Oh, sorry. A ton of cool rewards that you could get. It was awesome. Overwatch 2, on the other hand, decided we're not going to give players currency. So you have to shill out your wallet every single time there's a battle pass. And not only that, this makes the battle pass pay to win. And you know what you're saying? How could a battle pass be pay to win? Because they have characters in the battle passes. Some of which are meta-defining. Ramatra not so much, but Life Weaver now. Here we go, on release. Uh, Junker Queen now, but she's not in the Battle Pass anymore, so that doesn't really apply. My bad. Uh, but yeah, just Kiriko on launch is the greatest example of this. Um, if you bought the Battle Pass, you got her immediately. If you didn't, you had to get to like tier 54, 56, or something like that. And it's like, you know how long it takes to get to that tier of the Battle Pass? The total tiers is 100, by the way. So you have to get almost ha more than halfway through the fucking battle pass before you even got the meta viable hero that was pretty much required to play the goddamn game and enjoy the goddamn game without just losing immediately 
And, like, after Kiriko, they moved it back, like, to tier 40-something, but that's still a hell of a lot. Moving it back, like, 10 tiers doesn't really do shit. If they really wanted to do something, they move it back to, like, tier 20 or so. That would be a lot more reasonable, and I could see that being a lot better. I mean, uh, I'd prefer if they just fucking did put heroes in the goddamn battle pass, or made it so that you could get money from the battle pass, but no, 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 no. we like money. We don't like player engagement. Okay, <laughs> this is how it works around here, I guess. Um, also in the battle pass, um, you know what they did to the whole thing where people were like, oh, put the currency in the goddamn battle pass. They did probably one of the scummiest things ever, okay? Besides what we'll get into later. Um, this is probably one of the most scummiest things I've ever seen a company do, okay? They heard people wanted money in the battle pass. So they put money in the battle pass, and it was like the golden money that we used to buy the battle pass, right? Fucking wrong. Battle pass money they put in was the money to buy old Overwatch skins, okay? From Overwatch 1 skins, okay? But this currency is white, but they colored it gold so that it would look like the currency you could buy shit with. I'm gonna throw the fucking camera. I, I I really I really fucking am at this point. Like, why? 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 Why not just put the fucking currency in the battle pass? Why? I, I I don't get it. You wanna know why? Cause they want the. I'm gonna I'm gonna have an autism in a second. I swear to God, bro. And this is not even the most the thing I'm most angry about. Wait till we get to the fucking next subject. Let's just get on to that. If it cuts away, I broke my computer. I'm sorry. Uh, um, so, I need a bit of background for this, so that you can be as angry as I am. When Overwatch 2 was announced, it was announced with a PvE mode. It was basically, every single character in the game had, a, had like, a tier... Let's go. It was basically, every single... In, it was basically every single character in the game had a skill tree, and it was a big ass RPG. Tree. And it was a big ass RPG. Imagine Borderlands, but 30 plus characters. If you've ever played Borderlands, and if you've ever played Borderlands, you know that sounds like the best game ever made. And honestly, I could excuse all these sins if this was just added some way. Even if they just added like half the roster, I would have been so fucking happy because that's like 15 plus fucking characters that have all these skill trees and all these different things you do with it. It would be so fucking cool. It would be so awesome. And the demos they showed off and the people who played it, oh my god, they were gassing it up. It sounded so awesome. They basically said, fuck Overwatch 1, we're gonna work on this, we're gonna make it as good as possible. And it's like, okay, fine. They stopped working on Overwatch 2 for three years, barely gave it updates, I think, if ever. Um, added, like, one new hero in three years, and we we're all willing to put up with it because PvE is coming. PvE is coming. PvE is coming. It's gonna be the greatest thing ever. It's gonna be the greatest thing ever. They come out with Overwatch 2, it's a broken goddamn mess. Their excuse? They're working on talent trees. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Get it done. Get it over with. We've waited, like, five, six years. They've been working on this for even longer. It's gotta be good. It's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, I, I can't, I cannot wait. Cancel. Listen here, Blizzard. I don't know who the fuck who you think you are or who told you that was a good idea, but I'm gonna have to speak to them with a fucking lawyer. I mean, what do I even say? And <laughs> naysayers will say, it's not canceled. You can still play PvE. They're just not adding skill trees. So it's just archive missions, right? We had that in Overwatch 1. They could have just given us archive missions and uh updated the game and made it better i made it playable i made it fun not update the shop and just destroy overwatch one for this explain to me fucking why you know what you can't explain to me why you know why it makes no goddamn fucking sense they wanted money, they wanted money, they wanted all the monies, and if monies were meant removing maps, 
removing emotes, removing the on fire system, removing all the other features that we liked. Well, that means monies, 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 money. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking mental breakdown over this shit. I'm, I'm gonna go to fucking the CEO of Blizzard and piss on his dog and his children. I swear to God. This is a joke. I'm not actually gonna do that, but holy fuck, this is pissing me off. It gives you an idea. Just. Yeah. That's the state of Overwatch 2, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed my commentary on it, and, um. If you want an alternative to Overwatch 2, which is very similar gameplay, but, you know. The people making it seem to give a shit. I would suggest Paladins. Um, I wouldn't have suggested this before, but they actually seem to be taking in fan input now. And it's actually a really good game with basically the exact same system as Overwatch 2. But implemented way better and way more fucking fun. If you could still support Blizzard and play this game after all this, you know what? That's you. That's fine. I get it. I still like playing the game. But just personally for me... <clears throat> sorry. But just personally for me, I'm done being lied to. I'm done being tricked, I'm done being fucked around with, and I'm certainly glad I never even attempted, well, I attempted to, but I never spent a penny on this game. Thank God for me. Alright, Blizzard, you don't even have my money. Suck my dick. Goodbye, everyone. Have a wonderful day in YouTube land, and I shall see you in the next video, when I find something else to complain and bitch and moan about. Thank you, you lovely people. I'll see you around.